Hey guys, Lemmy here and I'm back with another art video. It is Friday and uh, I didn't actually get you the lines of this picture because when I traced it, I traced it with a pencil and because I was using a light box, you really couldn't see what I was doing. So I decided to just skip the line art and go straight into the coloring this week, uh, which I think is much more interesting than the lines anyway. So it probably ended up being a good thing for you guys. And um, yeah, so I'm coloring Ariel from The Little Mermaid and this is kind of my version of her. I usually, well actually I haven't drawn a picture of Ariel for myself since a really long time ago. You can see an old picture I made of her on DeviantArt like a really long time ago, it was digital. And since then I did a few pictures for Crazy Comic Lady regarding Ariel, but this one's for me and I kind of decided to do it the way I wanted to do it. And that was kind of more like a sailory sort of nautical picture because I included a splash of water and a lighthouse and an anchor and shells and like fishing net and I made flounder more of a, like a fish instead of like a marshmallow fish monster <laughs> and uh, yeah so I kind of did my little spin on it and hopefully you guys like it because I really like the end piece I'm hoping that I didn't actually lose any of the recording because it took a long time to record the coloring of this I had to pause a lot of videos and wait for it to dry, so there will be like kind of jarring chunks of, you know, the difference between the paint being wet and then dry when I restart the video. But I tried to include all the pieces, so hopefully my video recording didn't get messed up and you actually have all the footage. But uh, it took a long time to color this. Ugh. I got these artist grade watercolors and they're pretty expensive but I really wanted to kind of go with a nicer watercolor and give them a try because I have some student quality watercolors and I kind of want to see what the difference is because they say that these watercolors are more light fast than the student grade which means they retain their color like over time and they don't get all kind of washed out and look crummy. So I use my nice watercolors for this and um, it's interesting using different sets of watercolors as well because they include different colors and then you get like different combinations and so that was fun to see kind of how different the paint set is versus the Koi which is what I usually use or the um, Cotman set of Windsor & Newton. These, these are Windsor & Newton watercolors that I'm using. Um, so what's there to say about this picture other than I felt like my whole brain was like going to detach itself by the end. Um, oh my gosh! And also I wanted to mention the webcam was driving me absolutely nuts. I couldn't get it to kind of really focus the way I wanted it to focus and like I would paint at different times of the day or at night so like the lighting was all annoying and like I couldn't get the color intensity right and the contrast and like when I started to really color in her hair then it started to get like super red and I was like oh my goodness why is this webcam not picking it up so it actually looks a lot nicer in person and the webcam really killed this like it was it was really annoying to try to make the webcam pick it up like it sort of looks right. So I don't know how watercolor artists on YouTube actually do it and uh, do a nice job with it. But I've seen like many artists who do watercolor on YouTube and they seem to have no problem having it show what it really looks like. And when I do it, I'm like, I don't understand. It looks like blobs, but it doesn't actually look like blobs. And I think it has something to do with the contrast, but whenever I move the contrast, like just a tick one way or the other, it's either really, really like white or like really horribly bright. And I'm like, why are you doing this to me? Contrast work. 
Uh, so that's my story. That's my story with like fighting my webcam. I had more more trouble getting the webcam to work the way I wanted it than I did painting the picture. But yeah, this took me uh, a pretty long time to do. So that's why I was hoping I could get the lines to you because it took me so long to do the lines even that I was like, I can't keep up with a weekly thing if this is what I'm doing for a week. In other news, I got to use my masking fluid for this picture, which I don't think I actually ever have done a recording using it. And I'm not sure if I regret using it because I used it and then when I removed it, I feel like the lines weren't as colorful after that, but it was still kind of cool using it because, you know, you get to cover up your things and not have to worry about painting on them. But yeah, it, I don't think it's stained because on the uh, masking fluid, it says that it can stain and I was really worried about that. And this probably shouldn't have been um, the first real drawing I tested it out on because I did use it for a small picture that I didn't care about but I feel like it was maybe too soon to experiment with um, on this picture because it took me so long but it didn't end up staining which I was very happy about but I feel like maybe it's not as bright and vibrant as it was before I used the masking fluid let me know what you guys think because I can't I can't really tell but I don't know. Oh, and when I was pouring the masking fluid out, like a huge just, it was like, oh, I'm just going to put a little out. And then like a huge thing of masking fluid just like gushed out. And um, what masking fluid does is it kind of turns into like that rubber that you peel off later. And I was like, oh, all this stuff is just gone to waste. So that was, that was kind of sad because masking fluid is expensive. And I was like... <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad, but I guess it was worth it because I really actually like how the picture turned out and Sorry that this video has been going on for so long, but I felt like it should be a longer video So that you guys can kind of see How I'm watercoloring it instead of just seeing my hand be everywhere at once um, Just because it took so long to actually do speeding it up my hand just looks like it's flying around like crazy and also the lighting in the background looks kind of eh but that wasn't me with my like auto settings being on it was just it like literally took so long to do that the lighting was changing and stuff and I was like oh my god this is terrible so if I stretch out the video longer it doesn't look quite as horrible to the eye with uh, the the changes and stuff with the background and the bright flashes it's like so annoying uh, so that's my story you guys I, I hope you guys are having a good week I I'm so tired like painting my parents house and I'm painting the little mermaid like painting everything I should become a professional painter or I just paint things for a living Oh, I could be like one of those people who go to your store and like start painting on your window and like make ugly rabbits for like Easter. <laughs> be like, I'm an artiste. Look at me go. I bet that's actually fun though. Oh my god, now I want to do it. Does anyone have a window I could borrow? <laughs> like, I'll paint your windows. <laughs> That sounded really weird. I'm going to get going. I hope you guys have a nice week. And I'll see you next week for... Actually, I have no idea what's coming to you next week. You'll see it in the preview. But I have absolutely no idea because I haven't done next week's video yet. You're going to get something. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Enjoy your week. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.